hello guys welcome back to my video tutorial in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a program that uh, a simple program for the addition subtraction multiplication operations so first uh, let me create a new forms uh, let's uh, right click on forms then add a new item then select for Windows Forms, name it as uh, form. Let's say form simple operations. So click on add, and then uh, let's create a design form. Uh, for the addition first uh, let's uh, check or search for group box and select it and drag it to the form oh uh, no uh, tab page tab control I mean so let's drag it tab control page then uh, name it as for example for tab page one addition then for the tab two let's name it as subtraction subtraction then we're going to add a new tab add so to add click on the uh, small arrow and on the upper right side so click on add tab and then add one again one more then name the tab page 3 as multiplication multiplication and for the last one division division all right so let's start first with the addition so for the addition we'll uh, drag the label label and then the text box text box so name the label as uh, uh, enter first value uh, first number let's say first number and then copy and paste let's say enter second number And then the button, uh, search for button, then drag it to the form. Then let's say name button, text, text name as uh, calculate, calculate, then copy paste level and text for the results or for the sum of the two numbers and then the result so let's name the text box one as uh, texty First number uh, addition txt second number ad addition then button or btn calculate 
calculate at and for the result uh, txt sum the txt sum so let's uh, code this first uh, let's double click the calculate button then for dim uh, let's say dim sum as integer uh, uh, should be 25 as a sum so let's fix the code for it so it should be value uh, not text but we should uh, enclose this value let's put the value Try. Let's try again. Then, second number twenty-five. Ah, uh, yes. This would be the correct answer. Ten plus twenty-five equals thirty-five. So, say twenty-five plus twenty-five equals fifty. That's it for the addition. Uh, next we have to move on to the subtractions uh, let's expand this button first and for the sub subtraction uh, let's, all we have to do is the copy and paste the fields or the label the text boxes then paste into the subtraction tab page then here let's let's uh, rename the text box let's say txt first number uh, sub just to determine uh, which text box is this so we have to change it to the correct uh, name txt second number sub meaning subtraction for subtraction txt and then the for the button btn calculate calculate sub for subtraction so uh, the answer of the subtraction is called to difference so let's uh, rename this for the result the difference of the two numbers okay so it's uh, copy paste the code for the addition uh, let's then put the button for subtra subtraction so let's uh, rename the dim dimension uh, for uh, subtraction as integer so let's edit this sum cos sub subtraction then for the txt first number it should be sub uh, for the subtraction sub then for the txt or txt subtraction subtraction result uh, txt subtraction 
Falls du es hast, ja. So, let's uh, instead of uh, plus sign for the this could be for the addition and for the subtraction let's uh, change it to minus minus sign for the difference so let's try again for the, for the subtraction so let's put the first number as uh, let's say 50 and then the second number the divisor let's say 10 so 50 uh, minus 10 is equal to 40 so the difference of the two numbers of 50 over 10 is uh, 40 so it's correct answer so let's uh, move on to the multiplication multiplication same process uh, copy paste the all the fields uh, rename it to let's say txt first num and uh, more, more for multiplication and then second number txt second number all. and then for the bottom uh, ppn calculate uh, for multiplication and then the result of the multiplication of the two numbers is called the uh, product to be the text box the name of the product should be product so double click the button for multiplication button um, copy paste the code but this time we have to change the subtraction to multiplication multiplication sorry as integer so it's so multiplication equals uh, value of the text box first number um, multiplication first number uh, times or multiplied by the value of the txt second number or multiplication and then txt product which is the result uh, sorry. it should be the name the result text the product all right uh, let's start the program and go to multiplication uh, let's say enter first number 10 multiplied by a number let's say and also so as a result uh, should be 10 times 10 times 10 or 10 multiplied by 10 is equal to it should be 100 oh. uh, it's correct our program is uh, efficient or correct the product is 100 move on to the division so let's copy this first builds and paste so the division 
top page then same the same approach is how we're going to change the name of the text box to text first name or if then for division for now it's for division so, second number txt sn uh, div then calculate button uh, btn calculate div The result of the two numbers for division is called the quotient. So let's uh, edit this to quotient as a result. Name. Oh no, uh, should be text, not name. Uh, quotient. So for the text equation or result, um, let's edit the name. Here's the name, uh, text let's say quotient, text quotient. So let's double click the calculate button and put the put the code here so let's copy the previous code and let's uh, let's change it to division 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 and, uh, replace replace and the for the result for its txt quotient the text equals division so for the division instead of wildcard uh, let's change it to a uh, slash it's it is the operator of the division in vb.net so slash value that's the first number uh, for div divided by the second number or value for the div which is the uh, here the text the text the first number division for division the text the second number for division so, uh, save let's save this save uh, and let's start the division uh, try let's try with 50 uh, divided by let's say 10 uh, the result should be uh, 50 divided by, uh, divided by 10 is equal to 5 so it should be 5 okay so here, uh, the point answer is 5 so that's all for today's uh, tutorial so thank you guys for watching uh, please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and if you like this video please uh, give me a thumbs up also thank you